Hello, this is a unboxing video of the ADK. That's, uh, it says on there, they, that's what they call the Accessory Development Kit for Android. I got this at Google I.O. Uh, if you went to Google I.O. and you went to the Android Development or Android uh, Hardware Track, um, the folks there gave this great presentation and they gave us this this ADK at the end of it. They talked about the head last year, the ADK1, and then talked about ADK2, and it's an Arduino-based device, and they talked about how, how great this, this was and shows all the fantastic new technologies they got in. And at the end, somebody, it was really exciting, somebody asked, well, so when's this gonna be available? And they said, well, um, it seemed like the speaker had kind of a twinkle in his eye. He said, well, you know, if he didn't have anything to say then, he said, just wait and see. So I think they have some big plans about rolling this out to the public, and I, I can certainly see why. For now, it's only available to the people sitting in that room, and so I was fortunate enough to be there and get one of these. And uh, so I'm gonna do an unboxing here. I just got back from Google I.O. and just uh, overall a fantastic experience. Behind there, you can see um, my collection of some of the, the geeky clocks that I've got. I kind of, I'm into this kind of thing. As you can tell here on the right, I've got a Think Geek clock showing binary time. To the left, I've got a, uh, left of that, I got a Tix clock in the back. Uh, of course, I got uh, Android mask out there at, with the uh, Jelly Beans. We just had the Jelly Bean um, uh, release for Android, which is just just phenomenal. Um, below that, I've got a, another clock from Think Geek. Um, forget what that's called, but uh, in any case, it shows three cubes and it shows the time, uh, hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, those are non hackable. Um, to the left are two hackable devices. I've got a uh, MSP430 uh, TI Instruments. Um, I forget the name of that watch. Anyway, I programmed that one to show hex time and hex with some of the hacking I did on that. And then I got a Meta Watch, which I just got, which I absolutely love. And the Meta Watch is really a lot of exciting stuff going on there. And so I've been enjoying working with that. Uh, the one thing I don't show is I, I've got the Impulse Watch. Um, I'm not sure where my Impulse is. I had a lot of, of trouble with the Impulse. Impulse really isn't ready for the public, I don't think. And so that's one watch I'm not showing here, but in any case, I've been doing some work with that too, but I think I'm kind of giving up on that guy. In any case, this is the, this is the ADK. And uh, some really neat packaging here. It's like this sort of, I mean, it's just all sorts of different dimensions, triangular dimension there. Triangular, triangular, it's a really unusual shape. And, uh, you know, Google's been really been paying attention to uh, packaging, which is pretty neat, as have a lot of manufacturers. One of the legacies of Apple, which is pretty cool. So I haven't opened this yet, I'm just opening this now. See, it's got some Velcro, so it looks like this is package that's meant to be reused. It's got two tabs there. And here's the ADK, which really fits in there beautifully. So you can see it's like this black, and I can see, so you can't see in the video too well, but it's got a bunch of LEDs and sensors on there. We'll take a look at that in a second. Here's an ADK instruction sheet, really thick cardboard beautifully printed what's in the box okay so it's showing everything about that so here are probably my accessories so I'll keep that box that's a really nice piece of packaging so in here we've got uh, micro USB uh, another type of micro USB cable and here's the power cable. So, let's take a look. Now one of the things that during the demo that they show with this is that you'll see why I've got all these clocks in the background is the default firmware that comes on it. <clears throat> but this thing's got, it's got displays technology on it, LED display technology, it's got sensors, um, I mean, just all sorts of fantastic stuff. So, let's take a look at it. 
So how it opens up is, let's see, I'm not sure how it opens up. Oh, here we go. Wow, look at that. These are magnets. So there it's closed. Magnets holding it, holding it uh, together. This is the ultimate hackability device. I've worked on beagle boards, I've worked on atmels, all sorts of stuff. You know how painful it is when you've got those things. It's like trying to get in and out of them and then you get them scraping across your desk and it's just always a mess. There's no mounting hardware. It's always kind of like ugly and hacky and that's cool and everything. But this is just a beautiful piece of work. It's all labeled here. We can see here type 2 NFC. So there's, they mentioned there's an NFC. I got an NFC phone. I got a Google I.O. so I'll be able to use that with this. Uh, not FCC UL approved, not for resale. Okay, so this is probably one reason why they're not able to sell it to the public yet. So I'm guessing, I'll think looking at that, that they're trying to get F look at FCC, and I have a theory that they're going to be releasing this to for public sale within the next year or so, and also for educational use. That's my guess. So there's a daughter, in any case, there's a daughter board there, there's a card in it already, there's a reset switch you can see there. And here's a nice graphic of all the sensors and whatnot coming off of it. Okay, let's plug it in. There's a power cord, so I guess the way this is supposed to go is you must go in through this. Plug it in. What the? <laughs> Sound like a chicken. What was that? Probably the Android. Probably, probably is the Android. Actually, this is running in Arduino. You know the little Android here. Oh, it's probably that Android. This is interesting. This is really sticky. I gotta put this on something. It tends to want to stick to the table. So that's it. It comes with default firmware. It shows a clock. It's got a bunch of LEDs down here. I'm gonna be programming this thing real soon. Up here, it's got a Volume control, I think they're showing. I'm trying to remember back to the demo. Here are a bunch of touch sensors, capacitive touch sensors, plus minus on each one of these things. And they showed us how to set the time, which is pretty slick, and you can get it to hook with your Android. So I think there was, there was a code on their phone that would bring you right to the website. They made this pretty, I'm not seeing it off hand, and there's so much going on, I'm not sure if I remember, but I'm not sure what the next step is. I just got home from uh, Google I.O. But um, this will be something I'm going to be hacking real soon. So, okay, I'll be uh, putting up some more videos of this as, as, we, uh, as we go on.